Hello everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel Moratech. I am Varun Maurya and in today's video I am going to guide you to buying a new CPU for your system because CPU is the main component of your computer system and there are too many things to be considered before buying a CPU. So stay in this video till end to learn all about the CPU. Let's start our video. Before we begin, let's understand what a CPU or Central Processing Unit. It is the brain of your computer responsible for executing instructions and performing calculations. Now, when it comes to buying a CPU, there are several crucial factors you need to take into account. Now let's talk about all those factors. So the factor number one is performance. This is perhaps the most critical aspect. To assess the CPU's performance, you need to consider its clock speed, number of cores and threads. High clock speeds generally means faster performance. While more cores and threads can enhance multitasking and performance in multi-thread applications. Gamers should look for CPUs with high single core performance, while content creators might benefit from multi-core processors. Now the factor number two is compatibility. It's essential to ensure that the CPU you choose is compatible with your motherboard. Check the socket type and make sure it matches with your motherboard socket. Different manufacturers have their own socket designs, such as Intel, LGA and AMD AM4. So be sure to do your research and choose a CPU that fits your motherboard. Now, factor number 3 is budget. CPUs come in a wide range of prices, from budget-friendly options to high-end processors. It's important to set a budget that aligns with your needs and consider the value propositions of each CPU. Sometimes, Spending a bit more upfront can result in better long-term performance and longevity. However, if you have a specific budget constraint, there are still excellent options available that can meet your requirements. Factor number four, intended use. The CPU can choose should match your specific need and the task you will performing the most. As you are a gamer, look for CPU optimized for gaming with higher clock speeds and strong single core performance. Are you a content creator or video editor? Opt for CPUs with excellent multi-threading capabilities, which can handle demanding tasks such as video rendering and encoding. Analyzing your usage pattern and selecting a CPU tailored to your need will ensure optimal performance. Factor number five is research and review. Take the time to read reviews and benchmark from trusted sources. Look for feedback from people's who have already used the CPU you are considering. This will give you a valuable insight into real-world performance, compatibility with different softwares and any potential issues. Websites, tech forms and YouTube channels dedicated to hardware reviews are a great place to gather information and make an informed decision. Now to summarize, let's go through our CPU buying guide checklist. Consider the performance that is clock speed, cores and threads. Ensure compatibility with your motherboard socket. Set a budget and consider log term value. Evaluate your intended use that is gaming, content creation, etc. Research and read reviews from trusted sources. Remember, choosing the right CPU is crucial for maximizing your computer's potential and ensuring a smooth performance in your task. So, take your time Go, go through research and make an informed decision based on your specific requirements. As we are talking about the CPU, let's delve into the topic of CPU model numbers and the suffix you often see at the end, such as U, P, and H. This suffix provides additional information about the characteristics and capabilities of the CPU. Understanding them can help you make a more informed decision. When choosing a processor, Let's break it down. First, let's talk about the U series. The U understands for ultra low power or ultra low voltage. These processors with the U suffix are typically designed for power efficiency and are commonly found in thin and light laptops, ultrabooks, and tablets. They prioritize energy efficiency over raw performance, making them suitable for everyday tasks like web browsing, media consumption and light productivity. While U-series CPUs are not as such powerful 
as their counterparts. They are often extended in battery life and generate less heat. Next up, we have the P-series. The P stands for Performance CPU and the P-suffix are usually found in high lab performance laptops and workstations. They offer a balance between power consumption and raw performance, making them suitable for demanding tasks like video editing, 3D rendering, and heavy multitasking. P-series processors often come with higher clock speed, more cores, and improved graphic capabilities compared to U-series CPUs. Lastly, we have the H-series. The H stands for High Performance Graphics or High Power. CPUs with the H suffix are typically found in gaming laptops and mobile workstations. They are designed to deliver excellent performance, especially in graphics intensive tasks like gaming, video editing, and 3D rendering. H series processors often come with higher clock speeds, more cores, and powerful integrated or dedicated graphic cards, making them suitable for demanding applications that require robust computational power. It's important to note that these suffix are not executive to Intel CPU. AMD also has its own suffix, such as U for ultra power and H for high performance. Although these exact meaning may vary between slightly between manufacturers. When you see suffix like U, P or H at the end of the CPU model number, they provide insight into the intended use power efficiency and performance characteristics of the processor. Understanding these suffix can help you choose the right CPU that aligns with your specific need and the tasks you are performing. So be sure to consider these factors while making your purchase. Now let me show you some examples of CPUs that offers a good balance between performance and budget for video editing and gaming. So the first one is AMD Ryzen 5. 5600X. This CPU offers excellent single core and multi core performance, making it suitable for both gaming and video editing. It comes with 6 cores and 12 threads, and it's also known for its efficiency and value for money. Second one is Intel Core i5 11600K. This 11th generation Intel CPU provides a strong gaming performance and can handle video editing tasks reasonably well. It features 6 cores and 12 threads, making it suitable for multitasking. It offers overclocking capabilities for enthusiasts. Now on number 3rd, we have AMD Ryzen 7 5800X. If you require more processing power for video editing and gaming, the Ryzen 7 5800X is a solid choice. With its 8 cores and 16 threads, it delivers excellent performance across various applications, including demanding games and video editing softwares. Now on number 4, we have Intel Core i7-11700K. For those seeking high performance gaming and video editing capabilities, the Core i7-11700K is a strong option. With its 8 cores and 12 threads, it offers excellent multi-threading performance. It also supports overclocking for additional performance gain. Now on last, at number 5, we have AMD Ryzen 9 5900X. If you have a larger budget and require top tier performance for video editing and gaming, the Ryzen 9 5900X is a fantastic choice. With its 12 cores and 24 threads, its Excel is heavily multi-threaded workload and demanding games. So now it's facts time. So here are some fascinating facts about CPU. The first microprocessor. The first microprocessor, the Intel 4004, was introduced in 1971. It has 2300 transistors and operated at a clock speed of 740 kHz. It paved the way for the modern CPUs we use today. Transistors density. Over the years, the number of transistors in CPUs has dramatically increased. The transistors have become smaller and more densely packed on the silicon chips. Modern CPUs can contain billions of transistors on a single chip. Moore's Law Moore's Law, named after Intel co-founder Gordon Moore, states that 
number of transistors on a microchips doubles approximately every two years. This observation has held true for several decades, driving the rapid advancement of CPU technology. Speed and performance CPUs are incredibly fast. Modern CPUs can execute billions of instructions per second, that is, zigzags. They can perform complex calculations, handle multiple tasks simultaneously, and deliver exceptional performance in various applications. Overclocking Overclocking is the process of increasing a CPU's clock speed beyond its factor setting to achieve higher performance. It is a popular practice among computer enthusiasts and gamers, but it requires careful monitoring of temperature and voltage to prevent damage. So that's it for our comprehensive CPU buying guide. We hope you found this information detailed and helpful. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more tech tips, buying guides and in-depth discussions. Don't forget to leave a comment below with any question you may have and we will be have more happy to assist you. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video.